Hello, and welcome to Catholic Truths. So today our video is going to be a little different. Obviously, you don't see me. Instead, you see my desk. And anyone that's been watching my um, um, Catholic Geek videos, especially on the Digivices, might recognize my desk here. And they can probably see a little bit of the Skylander stuff over here. Um, so I was going to do a video covering the Liturgy of the Hours today, or the Breviary, and like do a quick, brief guide on how to go through it. But I got you know, a little ahead of myself and run out of time to properly prep for it. So instead I'll do something that's just a little bit more of an advice thing on daily reading type stuff. Um, it's always good to do a little bit of reading every day, you know, spiritual reading. Um, sometimes that's reading scriptures from the Bible, which is perfectly okay. It's a great idea, but some people want to expand on that. And that's sort of how I do it. Um, because while I haven't directly read the Bible completely like that I, I i do i did a lot of traveling for a while so i listened to it quite a bit so um i'm very familiar with scripture um in that regard so for me it's easier not easier but it's uh, more fulfilling to um do something else every day and sometimes i do get a little behind like i was a few days behind at this one the other day and yesterday when my girls were in, in a class at church i just sat down and caught myself up but anyways one really excellent book, if you don't have a lot of time to spare, is the Minute Meditations for Each Day. Now, there's different versions of this. I've seen um, Minute Meditations for Each Day um, from, like, the Pope. And I guess there's some different variations of that. I've seen one um, that are, like, Marian Meditations for Each Day. You know, and they're just, like, little scriptures for each day of the year with a reflection and then a prayer. And to give an idea... We'll open it up, and I have not read today, so I'll read. We'll do it today. So the scripture is First John four four one. Test the spirits to see if they are of God. And it says, "Not everything that shines is gold. What comes from God leads back to Him. Whatever does not lead us to God comes from the devil. Therefore, I must be prudent and selective in my actions. Do I take care to do this?" And our prayer is, "Eternal wisdom, make me always know and accomplish what is good for my own salvation." So these are good to obviously do in the morning, which I did not do today, unfortunately. And, um, you know, you can think about that all day. And there's one for every day of the year. And when you're done, you can restart it. Or what I would like to do is get a, one of the other versions. And, um, you know, there, there's probably about five or six different versions of these. And um, so they can last you a few years if you get them all. So next book is The Imitation of Mary. I, I try to read it like a section of this once a day or every other day, sometimes more than that if I'm really interested in what's being said. Um, there is a was a famous book that was written a number of years ago called The Imitation of Jesus, and um, people wanted something similar to that of Mary, and there were a few attempts is my understanding, but then finally someone um, wrote a book, and I honestly can't think of his name at the moment, and um, it's not on here. It just says illustrated. Um, but... Um, what it does is it has reflections on, you know, what would Mary do, you know, because, you know, we, um, while we don't worship Mary, we see her as a um, inspiration and a role model. And so how would this role model have done, what would they have done in these specific situations? And so what you have are um, readings. So like it would be God's mercy and it would be somebody asking Mary about stuff, talking to Mary, and then there will be a prayer. Now, sometimes it's like you're having a dialogue with Mary and it'll have like right here, it says Mary and it goes through that. And sometimes it's a back and forth, not just a one for thing. So, um, and this is actually like four books in one. I, g I guess originally it was published as four different things. And this copy specifically has things like the rosary in it, um, stations of the cross, a few other things as well you know, some older drawings and whatnot. You know, and it's pretty good and stuff. And especially, I think the rosary, if you have like the missile, um, Sunday missile, I think this is like the same pictures and stuff in it and everything. Um, that's a good reading for every day. Now, we have the breviary that we do, which is Liturgy of the Hours, which you can do it, seven times a day. Um, one, I'm trying to think, morning prayers, the three midday prayers, evening prayer, night prayer, and then uh, the read uh, the reading stuff. Yeah, I started like seven times a day. Anyways, so it's it, that the Liturgy of the Hours is actually a four-volume set, which I actually have over here, and we'll talk about next time I make a video. And 
it got reduced down to one book, which is the Christian prayer book. And then that got reduced down into um, the shorter Christian prayer. And so all three of them have different gods you can find online. And next week I'll um, post, or next time I make a video, since we'll be covering the breviary, I'll um, post some links to the different um, sites that um, show you how what pages and stuff to do. But to give you an idea, this is just a really abridged version of it. It doesn't have, like, all the saint days in it or anything. And even some of the readings are slightly different in it, and I'm not sure why. Like, they're actually longer in this than they are in the other stuff. Uh, but, you know, if you're doing things daily, shorter Christian prayer is a decent one to get. Um, actually, before I do this last one, I have one more. That, here we go. I forgot to grab. If you're bored of the shorter Christian prayer, you can also do the little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And this takes the regular liturgy, and it's only a week long, this thing is. And it changes it slightly, and it makes devotions to Mary in it and stuff. And this, this is nice. I like doing this as well. Um, but, you know, if you saw the inside of this one, you know, it's very set in a certain way. And this one right here is identical in how it's set up and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Also, like that little symbol right there. I want to show it off real fast, actually, in the Imitation of Mary. There's a symbol in the back that I really like. I think it's in the back. Yeah, I like that. It actually spells out Mary. You can find all the letters of Mary inside of that. Um, anyways, anyways, I'm you know, a little distracted there. Our last book is a good one to read. Um, it's the Confessions of St. Augustine. Of course, Augustine wrote quite a bit, but his confessions are the ones where you get to know him really like well about his past and everything. And... Um, Personally, for me, this is good to read. He and I have a lot in common. He's also my patron saint, and I like this Alpha Omega here, um, beginning and end. Um, but, you know, his is, this is actually like, what, 13 or 14 books? I think it's 13, yeah, books in it. Some of them are short, some of them are long. I'm currently in book three, I think, yeah. And it, each book, for the most of, most of them, go up through his life. So you have his before he was a Christian life, like as a adolescent, like a little kid, his early years, um, at 16, and then right now I'm when he's at, was at Carthage learning and stuff, um, Augustine and the Manichae, you know, Augustine, the catechumen, you know, so it gets into the point where he starts learning about the church and then his conversion and stuff, and then the last section is just, a lot of people don't agree it should be, they should be added into his book of confessions, because they're not confessions, they're just like, um, uh, more like him teaching some stuff. But regardless, you know, it's really good and stuff. And but again, it's not a good book to just sit down and just try reading cover to cover because, you know, you'll it, it's good to read like a chapter and then sit and think about it. That, that's what kind of book it is. It's really good. But one thing you may notice that all of these books have in common, aside from being leather bound well, or faux leather. I don't know. This is kind of a little different. I wish this one was more like the rest of them. Um... Unfortunately, when I got it, there was that option or a hardback, and I don't like the hardbacks. I like these um, semi-softbacks here. Um, but one thing all these books have in common are the publisher. They all have that symbol now. Now, all of them from this publisher don't always have that symbol on them, but this is a good idea, if you're, especially if you're trying to collect, because if you look in the back of the books here, um, they'll actually have a page of recommended reading, and it's all these books from their different things. So there's like minute meditations from the popes, for example, Augustine day by day, Bible day by day. It's it's another, it's more books like this. Um, living wisdom for every day. So, you know, the books in the back are very similar. So, Imitation of Mary. Let me turn to the back. It's also got some things. So it's got like the Holy Bible, a version you can get from them. The Sunday Missal, which I actually have. Um, I actually have not just the Sunday Missal, I have the daily Missals as well. Uh, New Testament, Glories of Mary, Dictionary of Mary, Imitation of Christ, the other one I was talking about. Uh, the Rosary Novena, Mary Day by Day, Minute Meditations for Each Day, which is that one that we have over there. Um, Every Day is a Gift. You know, different things. And each of these have little things in the back. Uh, Shorter Christian Prayer may not, though. It might be slightly different because of what type of book it is. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have it in there because this is a lot more complicated, complex. And then Augustine, of course, his confessions will have a 
series of books in the back you can get, like Augustine on Prayer. Oop, zoom in, zoom in, there we go. Come on camera, work for me, work for me. Uh, St. Augustine, man, pastor, mystic. Daily meditations with Saint Aug or with Augustine. Words of comfort, day, you know, day, different different things there. And again, med meditations. Anyways, um, this was the thicker version of it. But again, they don't always have that. But that's the name of the company, um, Catholic Book Publishing Company. And right there you can see CBP Co. Um, so yeah, it's the same thing. Pretty much all the good Catholic books come from that, in a, at least in English, come from that same company. Anyways, that's um, what we're doing today. Um, next week, we'll I'll try to be a little bit more prepared and actually go over the breviary because we'll be going over this book, this book, so both of these, and all four of these, which I have them turned up this way so it doesn't damage these right here. I need to actually get them on a bookshelf at some point. But yeah, this is the box they came in. I still carry them in the box. Um, anyways, though, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, um, you can ask in the comments. If you um, come back tomorrow evening, I should be doing a live stream. So we'll be discussing these books more, you know, specifically. You can ask questions on that. You can do it through YouTube or on the Amino, which I'll um, I'll put a URL for the Amino in the description below. Um, thank you for watching, and God bless.